live at Sunbelt Football Media Day and one of the most successful years, not just in football, but for an athletic program all around in Sunbelt Conference history was that put together by the Raging Cajuns last year. And Cajun Athletics Director Scott Farmer is with us. And Scott, uh, you know, the year that you had, you know, it was sort of a storybook season starting with football and then going through the entire rest of the athletic year. It really was. It was magical. I mean, I, I, that's the only word I can use to describe it. And, and, and winning a conference championship in football, then a bowl game, and then the magical run that the men's basketball team had right here in New Orleans and, and, and going through the conference tournament and winning and going on the NCAAs. Then uh, tennis wins here again in New Orleans. New Orleans was pretty good to us last year. And, uh, and then, of course, softball and baseball with their run through the NCAA tournament, hosting regionals, hosting super regionals was, was really something special. The problem with all that success is that now expectations are very, very high, and, and they start with this coming football season. Yeah, you're absolutely right. But, you know, I, I can smile. I can go to bed at night because I think we're poised to continue. Now, I don't know if we'll be as magical as this past year, but I think we are poised, each of those sports I mentioned and the other sports, to be better a year from today than, than we are today. So uh, we, we got a lot of good things happening. Our, our Raging Cajun Athletic Foundation does a phenomenal job of, of raising money and, and, and allowing us now, of course, to start building the facilities that we have planned. And, and I've said it before, I'll say it again, we have an unbelievable head coaching staff. And, and I think it all starts with them. And uh, they have a great assistant coaches under them and, and they have college athletics in the right perspective. Cajuns are the unanimous pick to win the football conference championship this year and go for, going for two in a row. And obviously, you've got three bowl games already uh, under your belt. Um, expectations are very, very high there also. Yeah, you know, they are. You know, we, we had had a, a long hiatus of not going to a bowl game for a lot of years there. And then, of course, we've been in 2011, 12, and 13. And, and, and you're right. We have a lot of returning players, a lot of returning starters. And, and the expectations are high, but, but it is a senior-laden team, and, and, I, and I think they can handle those expectations. You, you did mention the city of New Orleans, how good it was to this program, and it has been for a while, not only as a recruiting base, but three straight bowl games here. You won a lot of conference championships right here in the city. Um, it's, a, it's been a very, very uh, good partnership between the Cajuns and the city of New Orleans over this past year. You're absolutely right. We do attract a lot of students for a lot of years out of New Orleans, so we have a lot of alumni here. Uh, and then also when we play here, the, the Cajuns from the, the Cadiana area are comfortable coming here. So they'll come in masses to watch our teams play, and it's almost like a home game. So really it doesn't matter what sport. We, we will uh, uh, draw some attention here in this city, and, are, and we feel comfortable playing here in this city. Scott Farmer is the athletics director for the Raging Cajuns, and the Raging Cajuns is getting ready to start football season here in just a couple of weeks. And you can keep up with all that Cajun action right here on Sports NOAA.